What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today, why I love and hate Todd's driving shoes. So summer is right around the corner. It may already be here by the time this video is published, and that means that it is prime time for loafers. Today, I wanna to talk about one of the most iconic loafers out there, and that is the Todd's Gomino driving shoe, specifically, whether or not they are worth the money. So I have to say that I have a kind of complicated relationship with the shoe. I own two pairs. I have a dark brown suede pair, as well as a navy leather pair. So having these and having worn them for a number of years, I can definitely tell you that they are very stylish. For me personally, they are like the epitome of casual sophistication. But beyond looks, they are very, very comfortable to wear. So you might be asking, what's not to love? Well, the biggest thing is that they wear out. And that in and of itself is not a terrible thing. All shoes wear out after all, but I have to say that my Todd's loafers seem to wear out much more quickly than any other pair of shoes that I have ever owned. Um, and the thing is, it's not the whole shoe that wears out, it's that it wears out in a very specific place, and that is on the heel, which to me is kind of weird because this is marketed as a driving shoe, and if you're driving, you know, your heel is always making some sort of contact with the floor mat and getting a lot of wear. And you can see that on both pairs that I own. Now I have to be honest and say, this sucks, uh, especially when you're talking about a shoe that costs around $500. I mean, we're talking about this happening within months of getting these shoes, which, you know, I don't know if this is part of the quote unquote charm of the shoe, but for me, I'd like significantly more durability in a shoe at that price point. Having said that, these shoes are really, really comfortable. So I used to drive a BMW 3 Series that had a manual transmission, and I have to say that driving with these shoes was awesome. You feel the clutch so well, and that just makes the whole driving experience that much better. But does that comfort equal the price? I think you can kind of see which way I'm coming down on this, um, and that would be a hard no. Now, I've done a fair amount of studying up on this phenomenon of Todd's wearing out, and it's worth remembering that not all Gominos are made for walking. The classic Amino, which is the one I have here uh, in suede with just the nubs on the sole, is not meant to be a walking shoe. This is the classic driver. However, the City Gamino, which is the other pair I have, has a rubber sole, which does make it better uh, for wearing out and about. Bottom line, I don't think these are great as an everyday kind of shoe. They will get a lot of wear, especially the heel. But if you're talking about wearing them very situationally, let's say, for example, as a stylish slipper substitute for wearing around the house or lounging around your resort on vacation, that would be a totally different story. Situationally, infrequent wear, you're gonna get a lot more longevity out of this shoe. And maybe that's what you should do. If you really love the style and want a pair, pick your battles, but don't wear them every day. Now, I did contact the Todd store on Madison Avenue to see what, if any, options there were in terms of getting the shoes repaired. The good news is that they can be repaired. The store actually recommended an outside shoe repair shop that they always use. One important thing to note is that any repairs to Todd's shoes are not done in-house or by the brand, though if you do have an issue soon after buying, they will evaluate whether or not to warranty your shoes, and this is the process that they use to determine that. So if the wear or damage is to the sole, in the case of the classic Gomino, they will remove the pebbles and apply a rubber sole, which basically makes your regular Gomino into the city version. If you have wear or damage to the heel, you have two options. Now they can either wrap the heel in rubber, basically giving it a more durable layer, or they will take the damaged or worn leather piece and replace it with a new piece of leather. So basically you have a choice of giving up some stylishness for durability in the case of the rubber addition, or just knowing that you're going to have to get them fixed again when the new piece of leather wears out. So the big question, are Todd's Gomino driving loafers worth the price? I think it's pretty obvious where I come down on this. You know, at around $500, this is an expensive shoe. And no matter how comfortable it is, it's hard to justify spending that much if they're going to wear out so quickly. But this is ultimately a question you have to answer for yourself, and I would recommend weighing a few things. First, the cost. Can you afford them? Second, how often do you plan to wear them? If it's, you know, if it's just situationally, you can afford it. You know, maybe you can justify that. And finally, are you willing to accept the fact that they will wear out and need to be repaired or discarded. So if you have any experience with Todd's Gamino driving loafers, please share that down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored. Pretty, 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 pretty.